blogger and I run a blog called simplyfabgirl.com. Today we are going to be talking about how to actually dress effortlessly, look classy and look expensive all at the same time. If you'd like to know what my tips are, please can you keep all on right, Thank you for joining me. Okay, so um, I have so many tips I would love to actually share with you guys in, into different categories. I do not know um, basically because I'm just going to be coming up from my mind. I do not know basically how many tips I'm going to be um, sharing with you guys but the first thing I would like to talk about is the texture and the fabric of the outfit we are actually wearing. Okay, the first thing that determines how expensive or how classy or how effortless our outfit or our style is, is, is actually the texture of the fabric that we are wearing. Okay, the first thing we need to know is that fabrics like linen, um, cotton, silk, there are so many fabrics I'm going to, there are all types of fabric that actually speak, um, you know, class, if we are able to style them properly, if we are able to do the right things, we are actually going to um, get the most out of those fabrics and we will always definitely look classy when we wear them and look effortless and also stylish at the same time. Alright, so that is that. The second thing is the color of the outfit we are wearing. Okay, if you are someone like me that likes to, um, you know, experiment with a lot of colors, I love to wear any color. If you know me, I can wear any color. We want to look classy and expensive. Please, it's better we move towards with um, neutral colors. Okay, when we say neutral colors, let's say you have an occasion where you just want to look expensive. You want to actually look like you have spent more than what you have spent on your outfit. Please go for neutral colors. We all know what neutral colors are from blacks to nudes to whites all right reason is because those type of colors do not show flaws on an outfit most of the time 90 percent of the time you're wearing a black dress it doesn't show if there are flaws on it it doesn't really show compared to if you're wearing a dress that is pink or or purple all right if the fabric or the texture of the fabric is not good quality it's going to be obvious so going leaning towards co colors that are neutral is very very essential they are easy to style and when you say neutral i also advise you stick to one color if you stick to one color automatically you're speaking class for example you decide to go all black all white or all nude or all shades of nude like different shades of nude but all nude okay those type of colors automatically speaks class expensive it makes you look expensive it makes you look classy and it's just effortless and usually stylish all right so this is an example of what i mean by sticking to one neutral color and of course elevating the look with probably um, a sunglass you may spend so much really groom yourself properly self grooming there's nothing as important as um, you're gonna hear me say every tip I'm giving you there's nothing as important as that but the truth is it's really important self grooming is really important taking care of yourself you may spend all the money on all these expensive clothes and all that but you need to actually try to take care of yourself less is more when it comes to um, um looking expensive actually all right so ensure that your nails are expensive i'm going to advise even if you're going out to have an, an occasion and you're you're going to be wearing your nails you can also wear them in nude colors the most you can do is to do maybe a red even if you're trying to go out of nude all right but ensure that your your nails are not so long and everything i'm not did not no disrespect to anybody that likes to wear um, long nails i wear long nails 80 percent of the time but the truth is if you are trying to look expensive 
less is actually more do, do not wear too much colors on your face little makeup from little makeup to little accessories do not um try to wear too many things at the same time okay no disrespect on our daily basis we may have to, we may do all those things but if you're trying to lean towards looking expensive to an occasion those are what i'm going to advise i would like you to try these things out and you're definitely going to see a lot of difference in your outfit all right all right so for accessories like i said less is actually more all right you can see this little um pearled um silver neck piece i'm wearing at the moment okay so let's say i'm wearing a neutral outfit and i'm wearing this little pearled um necklace all right so i want you to see it in comparison to all right so in comparison with this beautiful um green necklace all right it's actually very beautiful but um <sighs> It's really beautiful actually all right but the the uh, the first one actually speaks uh, more of class this is stylish it's beautiful but if you're trying to you know come out looking expensive it looks like i've spent much more money on that one compared to this one this one has is more of a trendy style all right it's beautiful i love it actually i would go for this you know but because i want to come out appear more expensive i'll, I'll pick the other one Alright, so basically all depends on your style, but these are just my home tips and things I think you should give it a trial and um, yeah. So, okay, another tip I'm going to like to share with you is to either do away with prints or minimal prints. Okay, do not try to wear a print. Um, pattern trousers with a pattern top and a pattern bag and a pattern it just makes it look tacky i'm not saying you can't do that on a normal day but if you're trying again if you're trying to look expensive this is what you should do minimal prints or minimal pants all right make sure your top is clean if you're going to be wearing a pattern top you can make sure the pants is plain and your bag is plain you can just have one print at a time you're able to rock print because you want to rock your but you're rocking it in a much better way okay so this is an example of what i mean by do not wear too many patterns at the same time so i'm mixing this leopard print um pants with the black top again i can decide to change the black blouse but i just want to show you how versatile this top is it's essential it's important that when you're trying to buy a particular piece as long as you want it to last in your wardrobe ensure that it's a top or a pant or something that you can wear at least in three different ways so while i was picking this blouse i wanted it to i wanted something i could you know style with so many um, um trousers skirts and everything so this blouse is just um you know a perfect example of that so now i'm styling it with this leopard print from or h m of course okay so this shoes also i'm sorry i'm not buckling it it's just because i'm you know just showing it to you guys all right so this is an example of not too many prints at a time if i'm wearing a printed top again or a very <laughs> Again with this, it's going to look is to try as much as possible. If you're trying to, you know, start to invest in designers or expensive um, things, all right, you can try to invest more on um, designer accessories. Okay, so you can elevate your look more with maybe a designer accessory. So for example, you're wearing an outfit, an whole Zara outfit, and you have the classic Gucci belt. You can put it and it's just going to elevate your look. Trust me, you have a designer sunglasses. You can use it to elevate your all H&M look or your all Primark look. It doesn't actually matter. As, so it's always good. You can invest in designer accessories maybe your necklaces or your your rings your bracelets your wristwatches your sunglasses sunglasses you know changes everything you don't want to wear makeup 
you want to go out put on your sunglasses you you want to go somewhere you have a bad uh, makeup day head hey sunglasses sunglasses you know does everything it just changes everything um, so another thing uh, another important thing that we all you know tend to overlook is uh, sometimes you may love a particular outfit or a particular dress and when you wear it it may look perfect but maybe just the the end of the dress is a little bit longer or just need, you need to take it in with one inch in or one inch out or just to cinch the waist one inch in or just to loosen it one inch out there's always this little thing that just messes up the whole that just messes up the whole outfit so invest in your tailor do not overlook things like that if you are able to buy an outfit i think you should be able to at least invest in the tailor to pay a little token to help you adjust it to a perfect fit sometimes we, most of us shop online and eventually when the outfit comes the waist is a little bit tiny and bigger than we expected do not just ignore things like that if you need to hold the waist hold it if you need to bring out the hem or put in the hem whatever you need to do that little thing that you think you know doesn't really matter it would change a whole thing so investing in your tailor would allow you to have the most you know to be able to use the outfit perfectly and it's just going to be effortless on you all right so investing in your tailor i can tell you it's very very i'm saying this from uh like i'm i have experience from things like that because i actually design outfits and i know how just something as little as one inch can spoil the whole fit of a, of, a, of a dress or of an outfit or a trouser pant or what have you all right so ensure that you invest in your tailor have a tailor that you can always speak to to help you you know change your outfit to a perfect fit do not say oh that's how it's a designer dress that's how it's supposed to be you can they have designed it but you can make it work for you all right personally because a lot of people are going to buy that outfit it may not look the same on everybody and it, it, it may not also look the same on you so what you can do is to give it to a tailor and get it fixed to your own style very important um, another tip i would like to give is to try and do a little bit of sizing up when you're purchasing your outfit or in the outfit you're putting on try to size up what do i mean by sizing up like exactly. going in, just ensure that your outfit is not too tight okay when it's a bit loose and it's relaxed there's a way it feels on the body it's just totally this different this is what i mean by um styling a wearing something oversized okay you can see this is my blouse today but i just changed the pants for this zara um colored pants okay and i'm just wearing it with a neutral color also from zara um last tip i'll be giving you in this video is one tip that i've actually not been using myself which is thrifting okay i'm still trying to find somewhere in my current in my current location where i can actually thrift for you know outfits and all that but if you are in a place where you have a thrift store you know you're you can be lucky enough to find something extremely good i'm going to be um doing more style videos remember my channel focuses on fashion beauty and lifestyle content please kindly subscribe to my channel you've sticked with me this long then please kindly consider subscribing your girl is still trying to get those numbers up i'm still struggling to get my, to get subscribers please kindly try to subscribe i would really appreciate it if there's anything you would want me to also do in the comment please kindly put it in the comment below if there's any horse or with me please kindly also put it in the uh, comment section if there's any of this tip you've been using and it's actually been working or if there's any new tip you want to give me i'm really open to learning also new tips from you guys so please can you put in the section in the comment section below i'm going to try to put only just subscribing please can you click the notification bell so that you can be notified when i um, drop new videos i'm planning to drop videos twice in a week god help me please help me god please i'm trying to drop videos i'm planning to drop videos twice in a week 
and please can you like also and you know put your thoughts in the comment below when you like the thing about you liking a a po um, my post is that it actually recommends allow youtube to recommend my video to other people to watch so please can you do that for your girl i really appreciate it. i was going to say that if there's anything you actually want me to also do all right because I, I know that we just come here to say that oh can you subscribe for me blah blah blah, blah. If there's anything you want me to do then if it's something i can actually do please put the comment down below i'll definitely be willing to do it for you as long as i'm able to do it so all right and then um yeah please subscribe okay Oh, 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 oh,